Well, this project is called Connect and Sync Hearts and Hands, an interactive installation by Wondermaker. So what we do is at each of these stations, there are two podiums. One measures your heart rate, the other your temperature. And once every single station has one person connected on both podiums, it will animate your heart rate on the sculptures suspended by the balloons controlled by these motorized winches. So the height is controlled by your heart rate, the speed is controlled by your heart rate, and the color is controlled by your temperature. And our goal is to have four individuals or more, as we're seeing a lot of, find a connection and a way to play together in a really fun, maker -y sort of way. And uh, does it get more blue when uh, the temperature is cooler? And the color, I can tell you exactly how it works out. Sure. From uh, a scale of a green blue all the way to red, so it go passes from like an aqua to blue to purple to pink to red. So the blue, you're gonna get that when your hand's about the same temperature as the actual body of the temperature sensor itself. But the rest is mapped on a scale from that temperature to the highest recorded temperature that the board has received as long as it's been run. learning, always updating what the warmest temperature should be. And it's specific for that board. Yep. So if we find that someone came by and they just happen to have an incredibly hot hand for some reason or other, we just have to reset the board and uh, the next person to put their hand on is the new hottest temperature. Well, and how do you measure uh, heart rate? That is through this neat little heart rate sensor here. And it's just an off the shelf part. The heart rate sensor passes information to this nano right here, which parses that, gives an actual heart rate, because all that's sending is a pulse. It sends the heart rate to the center. Yeah, and then you have to convert it to a number. Yeah. Zero to 255. Oh. So the center controls the height of the winches. But the heart rate also sends a tick to the LED controlling Arduino Nano, which is the one to the left here. And every time it sends a tick, and everyone's connected here, it animates a pulse. That's a, uh, there's an Arduino Uno with a bunch of homebrew nonsense stapled onto it with a DMX shield and a, just a piece of perf board that we've repurposed for this situation. And software is written in uh, Arduino. All Arduino ID. Nice. So we're talking all together with, uh, see, these two communicate with nothing but serial, but this one to the center, that's using I squared C protocol. The majority of this project was built and designed and coded by uh, myself and another intern at Wondermaker. And we had to learn it all from scratch from the get-go. And uh, the more that we learned, the more we had to try and redo things because we knew that we could have done it better. Yeah. And uh, I think that we're quite happy with uh, the result that we got.